What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hope you guys having a very good day today. And today, we have some news here from the data download on Global. I know I'm a bit kind of late here, uh, but we do have here, of course, the new Dokkan Fest, which is officially announced here. We have here Trunks um, from the future AGO Dokkan Fest Trunks. And honestly, this character is a really good character. Um, but what's actually pretty interesting as well is that we do have confirmation shot here to Dokkan Assets as well. Um, we can see here that we are getting here Dokkan Fest tickets. And I feel like until the 7 year anniversary, I think every Dokkan Fest character global will be always getting these tickets here. And the reason why is because of course, they already know here that every player is trying to save their souls for the 7 anniversary because those LRs are just built different. So this right here I feel like is going to be kind of like a special one that we're... Um, I think it's gonna be maybe seven tickets or maybe five tickets who really knows and then you get I guess you have a chance to actually pull the new character without wasting any dragon stones here um, I do think that this maybe might cost like maybe ten dollars who really knows or maybe it might be 45 Canadian by the way um, So I get all depends what Dokkan decides but at least we have confirmation that for the new Dokkan Fest Strongs We are getting here uh, Tickets which is actually pretty good here as well, right? Now, are we going to get also discount multis? We could also get discount multis as well. And the reason why is because we already seen this combination where we actually get also discount multis with tickets. I think the last time they did that was, I think, with Super Vegeta. I'm not too sure. It was actually not too long ago where we actually got a combination. I believe it was, it was starting from Super Vegeta, which I can't confirm right now, right? So, uh, again, this is going to be AGL Trunks. Uh, Trunks is going to be here the category or actually the leader here for the Interested Will, which actually I think I made a mistake here. I thought this was Connected Hope on Global. Um, but he is going to be the leader, leader here, sorry, for the Entrusted Will and also the Android slash Shell Saga category. Where now we have here Attack and Defense 170 and HP is 130. Um, and on, also, of course, here his passive is actually really ridiculous. Now, Trunks, I'm not a big hater. I'm just saying Trunks is not someone we need here, right? If I'm being honest. And the reason why is because Trunks is a Hybrid Saiyans and Hybrid Saiyans is just like a disgusting category. There's just so many huge buffs. Having this character is really not that worth it, in my opinion, um, to waste your Dragon Stones because of the 7 anniversaries. If if the 7 year anniversaries weren't all that great, and I can say you can maybe go ahead and do a multi summon on this, but I feel like, you know, when you're looking at the leader skill, because that's like the new meta, 200% is something you have to like really pay attention because the ultimate red zone is very difficult on JP, right? Um, you definitely have to change the way that you are actually playing the game, which is actually a nice thing to have here. Um, if we actually take a look here at also his Super Saiyan form, this form is actually really good, but the only problem, right, is that this is only going to be a turn 5 minimum or turn 6, depending where you have Trunks. And the reason why is because he has to do 6 attacks or more in battle uh, in order to actually transform. So it could be normal, so it could be Super Attacks. I mean, it's all fine because he does have a great chance to launch 2 Super Attacks as well, I mean, sorry, 2 attacks as well. But I mean, even to that, that's going to be only going to be on turn 5 or turn 6, right? Which, unfortunately, you're not going to really see here um, in Super Bad Road. Um, now, you could see it in probably Extreme Super Bad Road, but at that point, you're probably almost done with the round. Because, again, this character is a Hybrid Saiyan, so you're most likely to be using Hybrid Saiyans anyway. If not, even the other categories, like, they're all top tier categories. Vegeta's Family, you're not going to see it. Future Saga, even though it's Extreme Super Bad Road, it's just, you know, it's not something that's going to be... Realistic unless you have a very not a very good account for future side and then maybe but if you're kind of like a, a Normal player in the game of Dokkan chances are that the future saga category is actually pretty good for your account here um, He's actually a really good card for super bad road And the reason why is because he does have a high chance to stun enemies for two turns And when they're actually stunned and they're attacked down or defense down trunks does get a bunch of buffs here on attack Which is really good, but again, it's just something that's very rarely seen um, even when it comes to long events, you're not gonna really like see the stuff here because now Normally the bosses in, in the last stage are gonna be immune to everything, right? So again, the part the part for this passive really is kind of wonky in my opinion um, And who knows maybe in the future Dokkan is preparing this type of new mode But as of right now the way it's going when it comes to like long events the bosses are just immune to everything So you're just really gonna see his full passive fully activated um, Which is unfortunate, right? Now, during the celebration for Trunks, we're also going to get here some easy A's as well, which is really nice. Uh, we do have here the uh, Tech Future um, Trunks here and also the SCR Zamasu. 
Uh, those guys are actually pretty good as well. Um, Trunks is amazing though. Trunks is going to be really good. Um, just because um, uh, his passive is actually really ridiculous. Uh, can I actually pull him up here? I don't think I could. Let's go here to... I guess we could go here to the future saga. Alright, here we go. And also, of course, there's no new stage of Entrusted Will Super Battle. So again, Trunks is not really needed yet, but later on he's definitely going to be needed. Um, if we take a look here at the future Trunks, this one right here... He's going to get an easy and his easy is actually really insane. So you definitely want to go ahead and work on his level links just because um, his passive is really insane here, right? He has attack and defense plus 80%, plus initial attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, uh, plus initial attack and defense plus 80% sorry, eighty percent when facing one enemy. So he's going to be really good for long events. Um, and also here he says here when facing, sorry, sorry plus initial defense plus 160 and, and the medium chance of, of going against all attacks when facing two or more enemies. So uh, this Trunks is really good. Um, and he also does raise attack and defense for six turns as well. So again, do not bother with this character. This character is really insane. So um, definitely make sure you actually get this character done for his easy aim because he's definitely worth it. Um, for the event for him, I believe you're going to have to be doing here the Vegito one. As you can see, this is the mouse for the Vegito. So the Super Saiyan Vegito easy event is basically how you're going to want to awaken him. So... Pretty simple, pretty easy. And then if we actually go back here, we're also going to get here a new stage for Super Battle Road, which of course is going to be Sibling Spawn. This one here, I will do a team guide. Uh, this one is actually pretty easy if you do have the Android category from the um, last summon here. But I probably will do two team builds for the no item runs um, and probably get it done on video as well. Just to show you guys some team builds you can do here uh, to actually get it done without the Androids, right? Because the Androids is kind of a hack, but if you're a free to play player and you've been actually listening to other creators that tell you not to summon chances are that you don't have them so uh, i would definitely do a video um without the androids here in order to beat the event and also one more small thing is that we're probably going to get the missions here for the infant drive history event uh, because as you guys know the stage actually came out on stage 17 but we actually did not get here uh let's actually go here to the events um is it events so it should be challenges here where is the challenges Campaign mode, nope. Quest mode. Where is the. Should be somewhere here. Events. There we go. Challenge events. There we go. Um, and we're going to go here to Infant Drag for History events. So this is where we're actually going to collect our remainder of our stones. Uh, let me actually close this here very quickly. And. <clears throat> no, come on. Give me this challenge here. Alright, I guess I have to click here. Um, for this one right here, we have your stage 17, right? So, stage 17, again, is going to be here, the Bonds of Master Disciple. But as you guys know, on Global, we actually didn't get the missions here for the Entrusted Will because, of course, the category was not yet introduced here, right? So, on March 1st um, is when Trunks is actually going to be coming to Global. And with that, we should be able to get here, of course, the last mission here to get our last two Dragon Stones, right? So, going to be pretty interesting. Um, but that's going to be it for, I guess, Trunks. We also have the easy days for the Androids as well, the free-to-play Androids, which they're okay. I'm not like, you know, a big, they're not something too spectacular, but they're still really good free-to-play easy day, which you must frame as well because you never know if we actually might need them for a special event. But, uh, that's going to be it here for, of course, uh, the Dokkan Fest, um, Trunks here, AJL Trunks. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are going to summon on the banner. I don't know if I'm going to summon on the banner, to be honest, because, again, I, the Strunks is really good, but he doesn't really blow me away. Um, and I just feel like maybe saying that just around the corner is definitely going to be worth more than Strunks, in my opinion. So, uh, I mean, I, but I definitely do the tickets here for sure, all right? So, um, that's the video, my boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, sub for more videos, come down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!